Hello and welcome to Kipa's Creative Flow. So today we are going to be looking at tickets and tags um, for Junk Journal January, which is by Meg Journals, and then the tape prompt, which was from Defema Rembra, um, by Louisa Heinzel and Barbara from 49 Dragonflies. So yeah, we're going to try and tackle all these. <laughs> we'll try, we'll try um yeah so so what we're gonna do what i was thinking is let's let's start with so i've already made a start with the tags so i had some these are from a shop called gap um so i've done a bit of gesso and started off putting some packaging tape like you know the the brown brown sticky that comes on packaging so i've put started on that already so i've started some layers with that so we're going to look at the tags in a moment but first we are going to start with the tickets and then we've got this beautiful stamp which i've already also started and started watercoloring with some watercolor pencils so we are going to be um going to that in a moment before first what i was thinking is um let us look at the tickets so and the first thing I was going to do is, let's have a think, let's have a think. Um, so, oh, let's show you the stamp set first. So this gorgeous stamp set is by, it's called Vintage Collage by Crafty Individuals. I think they're based in the UK. Let me see. Yeah, I think they also um, sell in Australia as well, but how gorgeous some of these stamps are i'm sure i got these on a magazine but even the packaging is i was just like oh wow um yeah so that's what we're going to be using so i've already stamped out some an image um i just did all different colors just to save a bit of time and what i was thinking is let's get some let's get this a bit Let's fill it all up before we cut it up into tickets. Um, so I'm just going to use the Distress Ink Vintage Photo. Oops, sorry, I just zoomed in there. Zoomed in and out. So I'm just going to try to... Um... Oh, no. <laughs> Every time I use this, I'm like, yeah, I need to just change the this sponge. But I never... Set it as my homework today. Yeah, guys. <laughs> gotta get on it so it's just all the bits are coming off the sponge very naughty of me i know so how are you guys doing today what are your plans my, i don't know why my belly was just rumbling because i have eaten i have eaten And I had a, a date, um, medjool, you know, the medjool dates. Oh, they smell good. With a nettle herbal tea. That's what I had after. Hold on. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So next, I'm going to use... Let's pop that away so I don't get it all over myself. Is the Versafine Onyx Black and it says capture the detail like no other. I would I would agree to that, yep. Yeah. Definitely agree to that. So I'm opening it and I'm not even starting using it yet, but we've got we'll get it ready. So which stamp shall we use? So it's already got like an image on here, so I was thinking let's mix it up with some I'm just gonna excuse the noise. <laughs> I have to, yeah, really pull hard on that. Um, so let's think what else. Oh, maybe not. No, maybe not that. What about this prickly thing? The next job is to get it off the actual. See, that's what happens if they're in storage and you're not really using them. Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to pop a few on there. Yeah, you need to have had your retix to do this. Definitely. 
You can do it. Come on. Don't don't break the stamp. This is a lovely set. Like I said, I think it was um in a magazine that I saw it. I was like, oh, that's very different, very different from anything that I've already got. Um, but it was like a ten or something. I'm sure. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Just gave you a wobble. The next thing is what happens if you can't take the thing off the. That is the question, isn't it? The thing is, be patient and try your. <laughs> I've got no energy, I don't think. You see, I've not used these, can't you? Except for the typewriter one. I think I used that in a different project as well. I'm going to have to stand up. <laughs> She's going for it. <laughs> How not to... Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to give up on that one. Wow. It's literally stuck to the thing. It doesn't want to come off. Let's try the splatter. That's a bit smaller, isn't it? Somehow I don't think the size is mattering right now. Let's try and gently tease that out. Oh, someone's come in my craft room and glued these down, haven't they? One of you've done that, haven't you? Is, shall I start this video again now? <laughs> or just persevere? Persevere, you've got no choice. You're going to shout hurrah, yeah, when, when we. <laughs> I've got this matter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good gosh. No. I'm going to have to like really have a look at all these because that shouldn't happen should it i'm wondering if we should carry on using the typewriter one as well because we did use that last time just for part of the image yeah i think we'll just use that i can't be fighting with these right now i think that's enough fighting so i've got myself a soft foam mat we've got our ink ready already so I'm just going to gently tap, just make sure we cover all the image and the splatter and the crackle. And I'm just going to use that so it just gives a better impression. Uh, how should we do this? See I don't want so much of the, uh, I don't want so much of the What's it called? The typewriter on it because it's kind of. I don't want all the image on there. So I'm going to try to do it all jaggedy if I can. Going in again. That wasn't supposed to happen, by the way. I did not think that was going to happen. I do apologise if you're getting frustrated with me right then. Yep, so I'm not pressing on the typewriter just yet. I might do it just on the last bit here. That's it. Just so it's not so pronounced. I'm just going to wipe off the stamps. I'll have to take all those off because... Yeah, we'll sort that out in a while. Okay, so that bit's done. So next, so it's Barbara that has shown, well, both Barbara, Louisa and Maud, they both, they all had um, these, they all made these gorgeous tickets. Um, should we try to cut this first? So I will link their videos down below as well. So what we're going to do first, whoa, 
this is not what I usually use. So I took this out to use for the um you know the perforated Oh, let's pop this back in there. This is going to be the cutting tool. That's it. This is a cathedral cutter. It's not the one that I usually use. I usually use the guillotine, the swordfish guillotine. But we've got this to hand because we're going to use it for the perforating. So let's just go with it. Is that straight or what? Or not? It doesn't matter. Let's just. The thing woman okay all right calm down um so what i might do is put it up to the number three on here that's about a good size for a ticket isn't it you'll see what i mean about not having a full print because you won't be able to see it all should, should we do now let's carry on with the three Yep, we can even use the jaggedy one. So now we're going to change the setter and then we're going to. I'm not even measuring how big they are, I'm just doing it by eye really. So I'm going to put it to the five, five centimeters. Yeah, and then this will just perforate. Oh, let's cut it. Damn. <laughs> I need to just do it one way. That's it. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's doing, does she? See that? You can see where it's gone. Yeah, it's doing it. You can see it on that one, can't we? Just don't do it so hard. That's the only thing. Because we don't want to actually cut it off, because... That's it. Right, I'm going to carry on with those. So we're going to six centimeters and just do it one way. Because if you do it two ways, like I just demonstrated, um, you'll cut the whole thing off. 